Guys, today we are right on the edge of something big for Bitcoin. I am going to let you know what you need to be prepared for right now because history looks to be repeating. And what did this mean for Bitcoin previously when we saw the exact same thing happen? Well, I'm going to get into that. I'm also going to give you an update on my bots which uh, are having a massive profit right here. I'm also going to give you an update not only on BitGet, but also my bots on OKX. Also, I will let you know my next move, my next strategy for the same kind of profit. So make sure to stick around for that, guys. Important stuff to talk about today. So welcome back, everybody. My name is Chris, bringing you cryptocurrency videos every day, teaching you how to make money in this market. If you are new to the channel, then make sure to subscribe and activate the bell right now. And with that said, guys, let's get straight into it. We're right now on the daily time frame for Bitcoin. And what you can see is if we go actually to the four hourly time frame, uh, the breakdown, which you already know about, we did see this breakdown here, and we have gone down and touched the orange box two times right here. So the orange box still holding up the Bitcoin price very, very well. So this is good to see for the orange box. And this is also a little bit tying into the strategy, uh, I think could be very, very profitable moving forward. I will get back to that very very soon but for now if you just look at this we know that we went down into the orange box we've had support from this level a pretty decent bounce actually and if you go back to the last level of consolidation you can see that we touched and actually we went into but not below it really we really didn't close below the orange box um, during this period but we went into it several times guys this is on the daily time frame so this just goes to show how strong this orange box was here during this consolidation. And then finally, we grinded up here. We did have that massive pump. So do not underestimate the strength of these orange boxes, guys. But of course, we have to be prepared for every scenario. Of course, we could see a breakdown from this level. Um, but, you know, it's going to take a lot. It's going to take a lot for us to break down from this level, as evident not only on this price action right here, but also, of course, on the previous price action on this lower box right here. So we're keeping an eye on that, guys. But there are some major things lining up right now. So the first one I want to show you is the uh, traditional markets. And you can see that the orange line here have held up the traditional markets on the four hourly time frame. One, two, three, four, five times here recently on the four hourly candle. So if this can hold, guys, we want this to hold. If it can hold, then that is a very good sign. But this is also the previous swing high of this movement right here. You can see that we went up in traditional markets, got rejected off of this level, went down, finally broke above it. So this is a key level. If we cannot hold this level, guys, the traditional markets, then we are looking likely to come down and uh, maybe even uh, go down to the $3,952 uh, level here at the lower orange line here. So that is what we're looking for on the traditional markets. That's not all. Also, for the DXY, the dollar index, we know that the dollar index was showing some strength here. But I was also talking about yesterday and the days before how we were approaching this orange box. And this is a logical point for the DXY, the dollar index, to start going down. So when the dollar index goes down, it typically means that assets, traditional markets, Bitcoin and so on, goes up. So what you can see here is if we go into the four hourly time frame, you can see that, yes, we did see a pump into the orange box here and from that point started to go down here. So we will see if the dollar index is going to have enough momentum to break through this level or if we're going to see a rejection from this level and maybe perhaps come down right here again to the 101 level on the index here. But that's not all. What I want to show you is this trailing shot chart. And what you got here is 2022, basically where we are at right now, 2022 to 2023, this whole price action right here. And you have the bear market of 2018, 2019. This was the absolute bottom. We went down to $3,000. And what you can see is that we have a little bit of a similar structure going on here. Okay, you have consolidation inside of this channel right here. We break above the 50-day uh, moving average right here, the blue line. And um, you can see that after having this channel, we go sideways for a little bit. And we have this channel right here as well. And we go sideways after that. But on this occasion, though, we are still below the 50-day moving average. So that is one uh, difference between what we saw in 2018. 
You have this peak in the RSI, this local peak. You also have this local peak in 2018, 2019 here. So we have this local peak go sideways from there. Finally, we break above the 50 day moving average. This blue line have a massive pump. We break through the 50 day moving average right here and we are above it for this consolidation. And then we have a massive pump above the 200 week moving average, sorry, the 200 day moving average, which leads us into this bullish megaphone pattern. Also, same thing right here. We have a pump above the 200 day moving average, which leads us into this bullish megaphone. We are currently at it right now, in fact. And inside of this consolidation, inside of the bullish megaphone, we see the RSI consolidate in this bull flag. Okay, you see the uh, bull flag right here on the RSI, both in 2018 and in 2023, where we're at right now. And now we have the bullish, the golden cross, basically. Uh, we are about to have it right here, right now. Um, it's happening as we speak, most likely. Uh, but we had this also in 2019, the bullish cross. And from that point, we did see a massive pump. So things are looking pretty similar just from the surface level here during the bear market of 2019 and where we are at right now. Do you think that we're going to have the same amount of pumps like you saw here previously based on this fractal? I do not think that you're going to have this crazy of a pump. I do think we are due for more sideways action, but we are eventually going to have big pumps for Bitcoin, definitely. I just don't think it is going to be this soon. But we will see about that, guys. We will see about that. Okay, guys, one more thing I want to talk about is my bots over on OKX and BitGet. Of course, you know about these. Uh, the bots on OKX were actually terminated because they hit my stop loss, they went outside of the defined range, um, so they were stopped out. But my bot on uh, BitGet, I did not have that stop loss and I did not have that kind of um, exit once it got out of the range. So the range we were having here on the bots were actually 15,700 and 20,200. So you know, of course, we are way uh, above this, uh, this range here, 20,200. Uh, the bot is having nice profits, 50%, so $1,000 in profit, just using $2,000. So the bot, nonetheless, has had massive profits here. Um, guys, I'm going to set up new bots. I'm going to revamp this whole thing and let you know the exact levels, the exact price levels, everything with my new bot. I will probably do that in tomorrow's video, guys. So make sure to stick around for that and make sure to be prepared. Sign up for the exchanges right here so you can take advantage of that as soon as possible. Well, on Bybit, you do have $30,000 in in funds, but the bots I'm using are on OKX and on BitGet. So OKX, best deposit bonus is available right now. $50,000 in OKX. So make sure to sign up to OKX. And on BitGet, I do also have up to $8,400 using this link right here. But the best deposit bonuses currently are on OKX. So make sure to take advantage of that. That is also my favorite exchange to use these bots on. So I will let you know the exact settings, everything in tomorrow's video, setting up those bots, and hopefully they can be as profitable as they've been here previously. I will say though that some of the bots I had running on OKX previously, uh, the latest one, one of them uh, was exited at a loss. Uh, the other one was exited at a profit. But nonetheless, um, I think we've had like 10 bots running on OKX. Out of the 10 bots, one has been exited at a loss. So, of course, I'm going to share that with you as well. Not every time it goes well, but most of the times at least it does goes, uh, go well. <laughs> okay, guys, that's what I got for you. Thanks so much for watching this video and I'll see you in the next one.